What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters. Sean, Zankoshu, Kregan, Kaiju Paladin Gabriel, Raven Fighter 91, Jasic, Bobby Dolphins 1972, Jimmy McFickus, Saracian, Sean McLaughlin, Samuel Ward, Sir Flame, Caitlin Harrington Robinson, Kaiser Sani, Son of Nemesis, Justin Jensen, Stephen Sharp, Ayla Ann, OXL, The Elemental Viper, Brony Time, Corey Costello, Wolf Jaeger, Carl Lee, Lewis H., Milo Man, and Tyler Johnson. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producer, The Anime Hybrid. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. When people talk about Star Wars Episode One, they usually just want to talk shit. I love Darth Maul, probably because he didn't have to say a bunch of George Lucas's lines. Oh, what's happening? Oh my, oh, what is this? I'm so happy, if you can't tell. I just enjoyed episode one so much. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who saw our uh, most recent Memer Man video, you know that I was very frustrated about not having a recording of a certain thing this was it i i honestly wanted to kill something with a hammer dude myself. all of my talent wasted in the garbage i watched that video so hard yes you did like i was well, watching the no, shit out of that the, video it's the commentary during it dude the commentary during it, oh, I it know. was so you guys hilarious. have already seen this yeah yes. we were watching it so what's the point of doing it now because he didn't record it because i didn't fucking record it <laughs> Yeah, but if you admit that to people in the comments... Then oh! Eat me up, this. boys and girls! Eat me up! Go ahead! You're going to get cannibalized by a crowd. I don't care. Let them cannibalize me. I don't know. Or you're Honestly, this video's, this video's good enough to watch again. I love it. There's... there's a lot, of people, a lot of people say they watch it like two or three times and there's shit that they, that they still didn't notice. What I did notice was... Him trying to force a point that just like didn't happen, but it was funny to watch him torture people into trying. Well, kind of, yeah. They're gonna get us, man. The AI is gonna get us eventually. Eventually, they no, will. No, Michael Reeves can save us. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> In my opinion, no Michael well, Reeves. Honestly, if, pe if people have a problem with us with us watching this again, then obviously, uh, by all means, comment about it below. You just give us more money. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> it's true. I mean, they want to they want to complain. Like, there's a dude who literally complains in every single one of our videos, and I commented recently back to him, just like you do realize that by just commenting on our video, you are giving us money, right? I haven't seen a comment from him since. So, you want people to it, honestly? Should I just you, let him keep going with it? No, no, yeah. no. In all honesty, it was just he was talking the most ridiculous stuff. He's just like. I just can't stand that one guy on the right. You know, all he does is vape all the time. Then there's that one guy on the left. I mean, he's just so fat and so stupid. And why does he talk so much during the videos? And I'm just like, okay, you want to stop me from talking? Buy the channel out from under me and tell me to shut up. Dude, Otherwise, I'm default, not going to stop. Default answer, elaborate. Oh, elaborate. Oh, tell me more. By and just means. get more comments out of it. <laughs> Milk the bastard. Well, <laughs> milk him for everything he's worth. Yeah. Hate comments. Like an angry little guy. Hate comments equal out. So do dislikes. They don't do anything. They really don't. I just enjoy it. I and for the sake of you not watching it, I feel like we discussed also it was a twist of fate that we tried to watch it without you in the first place to force us to have to watch it with you. Because this was when you were when you were actually gone to urgent care. Well, we did like a... Damn. Speaking of that, I'm not better. Like, yeah. Just so you know. So, that's fun. Yeah, that sucks, Well, it, it wasn't what you thought it was. You well, I was, was like just... Lung I, issues. When and... I left, like, I was like, I might be getting sick. My lungs feel tight all the time. Like, I'm having trouble breathing. And then I get there, and they're like, all of your shit looks amazing. And I'm like... I agree. Yeah, and I had a panic attack in the parking lot before I came in, and I felt a lot better after the panic attack subsided. <clears throat> and they're like, you need to talk to your regular doctor about your anxiety. And I'm just like, great. Because uh, I had one day after that, in which that I hadn't slept well in like three nights, um, to call my doctor before they closed for the weekend. And obviously I slept really late and did not do that. So I'm waiting 
intently for tomorrow when I can call my doctor and then probably have to wait like another two weeks before I can actually go see my doctor because you know how that shit goes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I might have a heart attack soon. Well, I don't think you will. Story. I don't think you will. Any of us could. It's a big thing in America. Lots yeah. of people have heart attacks. Well, that's the number one killer of, of everyone. Cardiovascular disease. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but... And people, also, and people complain about cigarettes. Is that how I can uh, explain it to Nate earlier? You, you've ever been, like, legitimately jump scared by something? Yeah. And you know how it gives you, like, the sink, like, in your chest, yes. like, sinking feeling? Yeah. That just comes on and doesn't go away for, like, 25 oh, to 25 minutes to, like, yeah, two like hours. It, it, for me, I, it, that's what I've been like feeling. Like, like, I don't know if that's the same thing you get, like, with yeah, your Yeah, no, I feel but, you. I've, I have like, been in the emergency room several times, like, y'all motherfuckers don't understand. I'm dying. Yeah. I can feel it. There's a sharp pain in my chest. My arm is numb. All this shit. They do blood tests. They do all this shit. Fine. It's just your anxiety. I'm like, how can this present physical symptoms like this? How? Yeah, it's crazy. But guess what? It does, evidently. <laughs> so yeah. I've been there, man. And now like I'm at the point now where like I just got pissed off about it because it's just the most consistent episode that I've ever had of like anxiety producing physical symptoms and me being 100% sure that I was like fucked up physically. There was something wrong with me lasted like four months straight. And at the end of it, I just got fucking furious dude. And was just like, fuck it. If I die, I die. I don't give a shit like I do, but there's not, I'm not going to waste another day of not being able to live my fucking life because I'm afraid I'm about to die. It's kind of what I felt like. Yeah. Just, I just got well, pissed it's, off. It's hard to get to the point where I'm way. just like, even if my body is going to be like, we're dying, it's like, oh, well. Oh, yeah. Well, it's hard not to Which feel that way it because fucking of sucks coronavirus. Because it feels like COVID. your body, like, crying wolf, like, essentially. Because yeah. one day you're going to be having a heart attack for real, and you're going to be like, it's just my anxiety, and right. then you're fucking dead. And then you're done. And like, so that's probably how we go out, honestly. But the initial, like, fear, you know, this is it. That's the that's the sinking like fucking existential crisis feeling that sets in. It's like I can't do anything about this. Here we go, you know. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, like, I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> and but it's over. The thing about it is, if you're having a heart attack, nine like pretty much everyone who's ever had a t- heart attack and lived has said the exact same thing. It hurts. Yeah, and you feel it in the first place. That you really feel it is right here. Your well, left it shoulder. presents like that a lot, but it presents in a lot of different ways a lot especially for women women have different you know feelings in their chest or back or side or like some women have heart attacks and don't even know no so i mean well, it, it's just it's a thing that, well my uncle know. richie had a heart attack and he didn't know and he yeah went to the hospital two days later and they found out oh yeah uh two of your valves are shut right now and uh we need to uh put braces in there and get them reopened or uh you're gonna have a stroke and that's what they did and it's been several years since then, and he's doing fine. Yeah. He got his health back in order, and he stopped drinking so much. And he also stopped chewing tobacco as much. That's the other thing that got him. So. Yeah. Luckily, today, what I'm having is more akin to... It's it's many versions of if you've ever had a dream where you were walking and you tripped, and then you startled awake. Yeah. Like, you know how, like, startling that is? But, like, it's, like, little or smaller versions of that where I'm just, like, for just a second, it's just like, huh. Like a flutter. Like, huh. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's not like being persistent today, at least. But I do. I have been having like the huh, like for a second, like bullshit, and it's fucking annoying. Yeah, I don't well, like it. Well, hopefully this will this will help you handle some of that. Yeah. Maybe make maybe make. I'm trying laugh. to watch things that make me laugh and try to. Well, that usually is, helps a little bit get my this, mind off of my own. We always have fun with Michael Reeves, like and, respirations uh, and shit. Yeah, we always have fun with Michael Reeves, and. uh yeah, this is one. If you can't find Waldo, you get tased. Here we go. <laughs> Tonight's Remember, story, I AI burped literally right before we started the video. I actually just did too. It just no, wasn't very that. loud. I saw this video of an AI solving a Where's Waldo puzzle faster than a human, and it made me irrationally angry. Yep, that's what we're doing tonight. That's, that's stupid. Got it. We put it in our cars, we put it in our factories, and now we're putting it in our fun. AI is taking over the nation and devaluing the human experience. 
whatever whatever that means. This is the port of Rar, Rar one of those cold Rotterdam. countries. You know how many people work here? Zero. It's just fucking Wally -E robot putting boxes onto other Wally -E robot. But by far the most egregious use of artificial intelligence is when we put it in shit it doesn't need to be. I.e., why is it solving where's Waldo puzzles? It freaks me out. And to top it all off, it's not even that good at it. Humans can do it better. I will prove to you that humans can do it better. But I needed evidence to back up my claim, so I set out to find the truth. Let's take a look at this robot. It uses a vision system and Google Cloud machine learning platform to identify Waldo's position on the page. It then sends that position to a robot arm which moves over to that position on the page, which is very impressive if you're an asshole. But in reality, we're <laughs> cutting the video because the AI takes too long to do its thing. If we look in the description, the creators themselves admit that the robot takes five seconds start to finish to find where's Waldo, which if we compare to human time to find where's Waldo is about twice as fast. A small hiccup, that's okay. It's not supposed to be fucking faster. So what we can assume is the people they tested to get this number were shitters. They didn't have the right incentive, they didn't have the right training to find <laughs> where's Waldo fast enough. We can give them that training. I had no idea how to give them that training, but such a small obstacle- Point this out in the last time we did it, and give honestly it still gets training. me a little bit. I had no- He's wearing, he's wearing shorts with a suit jacket. Yep. Yeah. As I said la last time, the only person I ever seen pull that off before was Arnold Schwarzenegger and Twins. Yeah, what's the guitar player from ACDC? Oh, well, that's that's different. That's a schoolboy outfit. Well, it's not to the exact specifications. Well, no, but I, I Angus apologize. Young, Angus, no, Angus Young can still, I think, maybe pull it off. Yeah, if he were to show up to a business meeting in shorts, I wouldn't question it. Did he have suspenders and high socks as well? Um, what yes. was his outfit? Anyway, his outfit's kind of like that. Kind of that, yeah. Michael Reeves needs to get a uh, Gibson SG and play some sick riffs. No I idea how it. to give them that training, but such a small obstacle wouldn't dissuade me from... Although, I think we could call him... A uh, instead of Angus Young, it's Asian Young. Because uh, he's Filipino. How old is he? T uh, 20? He looks 12. Yeah, he's young. He looks 12, especially with all that face acne. Figuring out how to make the perfect oh, Where's Waldo player. So there's this guy named Pavlov, right? He like that? trained dogs to he do his mouth so, so, Two types of reinforcement, right? Yeah. One where you reward the person for completing a task, and one where you punish them for failing it. You need to choose one of those types for training people in Where's Waldo. Positive reinforcement? That shit's hard. What do you like? Are you cat person, dog person? I don't fucking know. I don't want to get to know you, but there is one thing everyone understands, and that's pain, which is why we're going with negative reinforcement, which is why we need this. You're supposed to ask why we need this well, look. Why do we need a Michael? You already fucking ruined the- <laughs> <laughs> The idea is to make the chair hurt people so that we can condition them to play Where's Waldo better. We're gonna accomplish this by throwing a bunch of electronics onto it and calling it, I don't know, an electric chair. <laughs> fucking electric chair! Fucking done! I like the editing I'm putting up together, that was cool. Good. Fuck from anywhere because I programmed a web server onto it, which I did over on my Twitch channel, which is where I go when I get tired of reading your shitty robot ideas. Oh. Now I can read shitty robot ideas live. I can't fucking escape. I can't escape. I wonder what it feels like. With the chair completed, the only thing left to do is to create the perfect training software for our Where's Waldo players. This is one of those eye trackers that streamers use when they're trying not to look at ass yeah, or titties tracker, on the internet. Yeah. With this we can detect exactly where a test subject's eyes are looking anywhere on the screen. So we can combine that with the software I wrote which prompts you with a random Where's Waldo puzzle and test to see if you can find Waldo within 60 seconds. If you can, great. If you can't, ooh. Yeah. Welcome to my Where's Waldo testing room. Our state-of-the-art equipment ensures you're going to improve the game. Walking in and looking at the chair, I'm already just like, fuck you, what the fuck? Sit down in my Where's Waldo training chair. Mm. Are those tasers? Sit down in my- Ah, shit, this like, looks like an electric chair, Michael. Well, keep your hands on the training uh, taser Lily. pads. Poor Lily. Put your Where's Waldo gaming headset on. These are your eyes. It's a little racist, so... Oh, man. What? This isn't- Open it up! That is really cool. It's really cool, right? <laughs> the machine's a bit racist. It's relaxing music that makes it a little easier. Now there's gonna be a small audio cue where it tells you- Oh my you god, what the fuck is that? Where it, well, it tells you that you're running out of time. But you're gonna want to find where else Waldo- Oh my god, I can't hear you! What the fuck is going on? The music isn't helping, Michael. Well, it's to show that you have less time. <laughs> Honey, you gotta find Lily, Lily, Lily. 
She can't do You'll it. You'll notice nice calming music. Oh. Hey! Good job. Good job. You get a nice happy sound effect as well every time. Oh, hey, this more? No problem. This one more. No, we did this one. We did this one. Uh, Michael, we did this toast. one. I'm, I just I'm, don't remember what it was. I'm fully sure I did this one. I did this one. He was on it. He didn't register that he saw him. Hey. Oh. She was on him. For people to be this good. At, I'm not this good at Where's Waldo. Ten seconds. Hey! Oh, thank fucking God. All thanks to the Where's Waldo <laughs> training platform. Fucking ease of use. Anyone can be better than a robot at Where's Waldo. I'm so traumatized. This is what I did. How do I go back to regular? Do you feel like you're better at the game? No, the pressure just makes it harder. It had the opposite effect. I hadn't considered that. So. Thank you for coming. Thank you. What was the video about? I think it's like humans are better than robots or something. That works. I just wanted to electrocute people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. As you do. Uploaded. That was good. That was good. Crap. Anyway, if you like it, like it. If you didn't like it, fuck off. Oh, I stream on Twitch now. It's mostly yeah. just hanging out for video games. Opinion. Sometimes I do tech stuff. Oh, this fucking, I built this grill on stream. The chat can set it off. It's fucking badass. So if you guys get bored in the six months between my uploads, you can check that out. Uh, thank you for watching. I think there's a sponsorship on this video. This war crime has been sponsored by Honey. But I've been watching <laughs> this video in my life. Honey do. Honey is a free I use online honey. browser. I actually yeah. used it the other day on uh, Fiverr. Coupon codes when you go to check out online. Let's say you want to buy Trying a chair, but for whatever reason, Mm -hmm. doesn't electrocute you. Well, you can just shop normally for a chair and then at checkout, you hit this button that says apply coupons. Wait a few seconds and then boom, you saved like fucking $40 and you did nothing. You did what? You hit a button. It's such a low effort yeah. way to save money. In fact, the people using my link have already saved over $400,000 or so I've been told by the Honey marketing team if they're not liars. But Michael, what do you use it for? Good question, Honey advertising team. I've answered that question six times already. I use it for really cheap Chinese <laughs> electronic sites like Banggood, AliExpress, the other one that I can't pronounce. But it works anywhere. I think there are like, what, like 10,000 sites or some shit? I'm lying, I'm a liar. There are 30,000 sites that it works on, Jesus. Including this one, that one, that one, that one. I just installed it on my web browser, forget about it until I check out, and then save money randomly here and there. Honey is free to use, you just gotta go to joinhoney.com slash Reeves, do two clicks, and it's ready to go. That's joinhoney.com slash Reeves. Thank you for watching the video. Okay. So there you go. Yeah, good music. Yeah. Oh, we got we getting into this. I'm down with it. <laughs> it's a good chill. It's a good chill song. I wonder yeah. if he plays shit like this on his Twitch. We need uh, we need like our own. Our own dancing game, our own rhythm game. You just <laughs> just click where our hips need to be Rich. in the song. <laughs> <laughs> Rit, you get one. <laughs> I guess that, a single that, rit. That could, huh? A single rit. A single okay. rit. Yeah. You know what else you could say? This video was rit. It was rit. It was one cracker. But you got three crackers right here. It's true. Yeah. Uh, if anything, if anything, uh, you two are rich crackers, and I'm like those like salty, unsalted, like horrible, terrible crackers. Oh that bullshit! You see no, you have you're plenty you're of salt. Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely salt. Fair enough. Fair enough. So okay. the man who screamed in the microphone at the top of his lungs at the beginning of this video that we he's not salty. I, 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 all salt. Salt. I don't know what you're talking about. I, 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 I mean, that part, that part never happened, as far as I'm concerned. You were a naughty boy. I'm just going to edit it out, so I'll just look weird now. Like, what was he talking about? <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a Michael Reeves video. Uh, that, again, old, wholly entertaining. Uh, that Not the worst tasting experience I've ever seen. I, I, actually, I talked to Chad about this. We needed to do a dumb white people version of this where, you know, we have to point out Waldo on the page within... Should find a different game to play so we're not directly ripping him off. Well, I mean, in all honesty, I oh, want to prove no. how how going analog instead of going like 
digital, like, you know, all fancy digital shit like he was doing right there. When you there. said that, I thought of one, and it's terrible. I don't want to be any part of what it. What is it? What is it? <laughs> no, I don't, I'm afraid to utter it into existence. I'm keeping it utter to myself. Utter it. Utter it. Go ahead. If it's, if it's something bad, I'll edit it out. No, it's not something bad for anybody but oh, us. I, okay. Um, I don't know. I want to say a suggestion, but I think I can come up with something cooler than a suggestion. But I almost want to say battleship, and every time one of your ships gets sank, you get tasered. Okay. <sighs> so I'm trying to take the tasers out of the so equation. Like you make it a competitive equation. equation. I, I was going to make it a, another Where's Waldo, but if you don't get it in time, then like a mousetrap snaps your toe. Oh, oh God. I don't know about that. Dude, you'd be finding the fuck out of waldo those things could break your toe man not if you no, get no, the no, little one the but they will still blister yeah. no the you. industrial still, ones will fuck your it'll shit break out. your foot so that's the point is they break mice's necks mm-hmm. yeah but you can get the little field mouse <laughs> ones that just pinch the shit out of you but it would still suck bro oh yeah i'm not gonna do that so no, no point in even bringing it up <laughs> no, no, i'm not gonna do that. i'll do i don't mind doing like the taser for the where is waldo or battleship yeah i don't mind that i don't know about that because honestly it i I'm I'm a whore for internet fame, I'm. <laughs> but this is not the worst tasing I've ever seen. You know what would be hilarious, it, actually? What is if you could get um, some chairs rigged up with tasers that just go off randomly at random intervals on different people's chairs throughout a game, and try to play poker that way. Oh God! Because <laughs> like you're trying to keep a poker face, but all of a sudden you're like. <laughs> Like, no. you get electrocuted, drop half your cards on the table. Yeah. No, thanks. Or Uno. God. Could you imagine Uno? If you don't say Uno, someone can press a button, and then all of a sudden... You, you should get... do Uno, but you should have to be tased in order to play the most dickish cards. Oh. Like, every time you play a reverse a card, four. you have you get tased for it. Or a, or a plus, plus four, four yeah. or a fucking plus two. I could imagine, like, a stacking event, like, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. You're around the table. You're just like, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't know about a good, like, getting electrocuted again. <laughs> I've done it enough. <laughs> I've been electrocuted far, far well, more than I should. Well, okay. This is the worst tasing I've ever witnessed. This on, is so dumb. Yeah, this is uh, Nitro Circus. Travis Pastrana, for those of you who do not know. Is if we're going to show other tasing videos, you have to show my favorite one after this one. Okay. Is it the Chewbacca one? No, it's a dude that's a fucking boss. <laughs> like, oh, he just walks through it? No, you just have to see it. Okay. All right. Anyway, this is uh, Travis Pastrana getting tased from Nitro Circus. This is, hands down, one of the worst things I ever witnessed because, you know, it's it hurts so bad. Oh. The first thing to hit was his head. Travis Pastrana is the one of the nuttiest bastards I have ever paid witness to. That was just dumb, though. It didn't have to be like that. But no, you would think you'd have people standing like in front and behind. Well, they you, like, offered if you're doing to, and they, they offered to, but he said, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm good." So you're not dumb. good, Travis. Could be dead. You're not good. Yeah, could and, definitely be dead, dude. Yeah, and so just uh, type in uh, Taser, and then type in "I'll get you." Oh, oh that dude! I, yeah. I've seen that. There it is. Oh, no. Yep, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. I've seen this. Episode of Cops. Watch this dude get tased like a boss. Oh, God. Yeah. Like, his just reaction to it is fucking amazing. I'll get you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's going to pop up in one of my videos for sure. I'm using that as B-roll. I fucking love that, man. Or that's just, just like, going to be... Nose is getting tased. Kind of like, just, I'll get you, bitch. I'll get... Just starts to get well, on the well, ground. He was, he was feeling it because he froze a bit whenever he was trying to talk to her. He was like, I'll get you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. Just... <laughs> yeah, this one right here. This one is awful cuz this is a this is a I think the Bolivian army and mm-hmm. they're uh, and they're tasering you for uh uh to for initiation. And yeah. This guy will never live this down for the rest of his life. No quiero utilizarlo en tu contra de entrega. No. No. Taser, taser, taser. 
<laughs> I don't know why that was just always very funny to me. Uh, also, seeing Eric Estrada get tased is one of the weirdest things ever. Bro, I'm about to send you me getting tased. Oh, n- oh <laughs> no! Okay, this is literally me okay. getting tased. Okay, you sent it through a uh, messenger. Yeah. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it should work. Yep. Here we go. This is when I was in the Navy. Yep. This is Chad in his Navy blues. And it, this is how Travis Pastrana should have done it. Yes, laying down. Are they sticking that thing up your ass? It's got two probes. One is in my neck, and the other one's like at my gooch where he's got the fucking thing. <laughs> so it's like my whole body. Oh, up the spine. A spinal and tap, pretty it wait, much. And I say, oh, fuck, while they're doing it. And they're like, dude, we're surprised you were able to talk. And I'm just like, yeah. All right, everybody ready? Yes, yeah. here we go. I was just trying to get up. <laughs> they were afraid that I couldn't get up. You're like, no, I'm good. Yeah, I was like, I'm good. Like, as soon as it stopped, I was like, all right, that sucks. I'm up. I'm getting up. <laughs> good God. Holy shit. I forgot that video existed, dude. Yep. Shit. It um you nutty didn't. Bastard. It was private, but I just made it public. So if anybody wants to go watch it, oh, it's unlisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's unlisted. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> Chad getting tased. There you go. Oh God. Oh uh, Jesus. Okay. Well, this is an adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite the adventure, if I say so myself. So anyway, that was Michael Reeves. Uh, uh, if you don't find Waldo, you get tased. Uh, so yeah, uh, still very fucking funny. Can't help, can't help but laugh at Michael Reeves. He's a savage. Dude. Yeah, uh, and uh, him and uh, Lily Pichu, I think, are two very very funny people. She uh, wasn't about it, dude. She was like, "Nope, I'm no, not getting no, tased." No, and they're dating. They're, I did not know that they were dating. That's actually pretty cool. That is cool. <laughs> but also, uh, you know, uh, I think I think that's I think that's maybe the main reason Pokemon moved out of the uh, offline TV house. Jokingly, by the way, I know why she really did, but because she knew Michael Reeves was going to make her do that. And she oh, tase! Like, yeah. like, I'd be moving it. out, dude. If you start talking about tasing me, I'm out. You already saw it. I've been through it. I'm not doing I'm it again. Doing it again? No. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. So until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Chad. I am Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.